But we don't have to worry about clearing anymore because I went ahead and took all the trees down to the property line. I saw cut the line trees, everything. Not going to have to worry about taking down any more trees. So, got another load of pine. And uh, it's nice and foggy this morning. We got to go back and move the silt fence. So I'm going to jump on the mini real quick. Go down there and trench that in. And uh, see if we can pull it up and just put it back in the ground. Good intentions. I don't think it's going to work too well, but I'm going to try. So we got all the trees down and cleaned up all the way down that edge and uh, ripped up the silt fence. There you can see where the silt fence was. Started moving it back. I run out of silt fence, so I'll put the rest up tomorrow. But uh, from the dirt pile down, we got all that put back up. I got to put in an outlet and then another probably 150 foot of silt fence. But uh, we'll do that in the morning while it's cool about 90 something now and it's, it's too hot to mess with that so I'm gonna go down here and stack the brush up into the burn pile Tim is stripping the grass off for the rest of the pads up there we'll get all that grass and topsoil hauled back here and then probably tomorrow get started on cutting the dirt for the pads up there where he's at it's got to go down about five and a half feet so well i take that back actually i'll probably what i'll do is come down here and strip some more topsoil because all that dirt's got to go down here to start leveling this out let's go haul a load of roots and grass and junk while i uh before john gets here and starts driving the truck Haul some of this back here and get a little bit of a head start. Getting everything all stripped. I got the brush piled up. And uh, Tim got that pushed up. And once we get all the grass removed off of it, we're kind of separating it out from the nice, cream, uh, nice clean, screen looking dirt which is in the pile on the left with the nasty grass that I'm scraping up and building a berm here in the back out of. Over time it'll rot and decay, but for whatever we need to backfill with clean dirt, it's just a whole lot easier now to separate it so that when the time comes, I'm not trying to grade out a wadded up pile of grass. The truck's not doing any better. It might be doing a little bit better, but uh, it's gonna go under the knife here pretty soon. Pretty soon, I think it needs an injector. They replaced one, or the mechanic replaced one, and then it turned out to be a bad injector and actually had to replace it again. So he'll be able to come and check it out and see if for some reason that injector has gone bad again see how bad it, it's like almost bogged down but the injectors for this truck are like a thousand dollars a piece they're ridiculous but then like right now it runs fine and dandy We'll get another load. Did Tim knock a stake down? I think Tim ran over a stake. Yep, he ran right clean the hell over it. Look at it. Good job, Tim. Run right over my damn great steak. All right. Another load to be loaded. Pew. 
So working on getting the topsoil stripped up here in the first half, I flagged my uh, stone limits right through here so I know I can fill all this with topsoil and then the retention pond is going back there. So now I can take all this topsoil and waste it right over here and then take all the clay and start building the parking area for that. So Tim stripping, pushing that up here to me. I'm loading it in the truck, backing it down there, and then uh, we'll start cutting some clay out. So the DOT just passed our pipe installation. So now Tim is backfilling that. John's here to drive the dump truck. I don't have to climb in and out of this excavator on every load, so I'm happy. And I am breaking up this topsoil. There's a lot of topsoil down here now. grass off getting that break into a windrow he's putting the fill over the pipe uh, getting that out of the way because we got to strip the grass off where the fill is before I can put uh, bring it out too far because I don't want to cover topsoil where the road's got to go with good fill
this out of the way so we can get down to our good red clay and get, get started on moving that. Get this place filled in. We gotta get these building pads done because I think they wanna start pouring concrete in October, which is only two weeks away.
south. Don't go right there. Look at the mess I made. Oh. Well, that was fun, now wasn't it? Glad nothing's got to go right there. I'm gonna dig that mud out. Put some good dirt in there. That was a little ridiculous. Now that I got the truck stuck right here in the sinkhole, I decided to dig said sinkhole out and replace it with good dirt. So as we are continuing to haul dirt down there, that rendezvous doesn't have to happen again. Which makes no sense because I drove through that on the first load. Absolutely no problem. And then the second load, it just disappeared. But this nice dry dirt should take care of that problem. I don't need high speed. So I'm cutting this dry dirt out and throwing it over here where Tim can push it in place.